I am going to clean the carburetor on a Kohler 26 horsepower Kohler Command V-Twin that came on a Craftsman GT5000. First things first, let's take off the hood. Lean it forward, pick it up. Woo, easy. So this is labeled Craftsman Kohler Pro 25 horsepower. Uh, it's a Kohler Command style. Same thing, they just name it slightly different for what brand it's for. It's got a little guy right here. Untwist that. And then this air cleaner cover will come right off. And now you've got the air cleaner. Spin that off. Start off with a 3 8 inch socket. You have two bolts, one right here. I'm wondering, as I look at it, if this is supposed to be attached here, and it has popped off because it looks like a little bit of it broke. I will have to look into that to see, because I'm not sure. With this part, this part just comes off. And don't lose your gasket. So that just has a little tube back here attached to that guy that was kind of pinched. Interesting. All right, here's our fuel or our carburetor solenoid that shuts the fuel off um, when the gas is not or when the key is not turned. So just unplug from here. And that'll dangle down there. Uh, we've got our fuel line right here, so I will take a little vice grips, just in case, pinch that off, use some regular pliers just to squeeze this little clip, and slide it down that hose a little bit, and then I'll use the same pliers to grab up here and just twist a little bit, get it free make sure it's not stuck before you start pulling on it and just kind of twist and push and there's definitely some fuel in there up here you'll see we've got another connection that I'm going to have to disconnect in order to pull the whole thing off. Yeah, that is stuck on there really good. It's like that gasket is... There we go. It seems like the gasket was all gooey. There's another gasket in the front. Don't lose that. All right, let's move this fuel hose out of the way. So I want you to see how this looks in here. We've got a linkage it goes all the way up to this, which is your, well, your little butterfly there that there we go opens and closes. 
So we gotta get that linkage out. Show you way back here. We have throttle cable and it just has a little plastic piece and I think you just pop that off. You just pop it to the side. There we go. See how that black plastic piece slid off. Right here, there's a little slot. And then when you go to put it back on, we'll just slide it up and push it. So we also have a little tiny spring next to it. Just go in with a needle nose. And pull it down a little bit and I released it from that little hole and it's just sitting up there next to the other one. And that piece this metal piece there we go. So the plastic piece that we unsnapped it from just lays there in that hole so then this one, once we reinstall, that just slides back in the hole, the plastic slides back up over it. So now we at least have the throttle control. Now we're dealing with the choke, which is this guy right here. So I'm realizing the piece that was attached to the carburetor solenoid uh, wasn't on there very good. Broke right off. It just fell while I was working on that other stuff. So I'm going to have to get in there probably and cut off. There's just there's no room left in there to mess with. So we'll see. We'll see what we have to do. We're gonna pull off that lower linkage. Grab just a needle nose. And twist it a little bit. There we go. And I don't think that bent it too badly. I think it's okay. So, and now we can just, up here, you can just wiggle it enough to get it out of there. So set that aside, don't forget it. You will be mad at yourself if you do. So same with this. Now that we have all that stuff out, well, let me just show you. Now you can pull out the carb. There it is. So drain all the gas out if you can. I did it off camera because it started leaking. Uh, use a three quarter inch wrench to get this off. Mine was on so loose that it was just falling off. So you got a little gasket on there. And you've got a jet right there. On the side, you've got a spot to make sure you clean out there too. And then here's the bowl. A little bit of gunk in there, a little grime. Put 
pull out this pin, lift up your float, and you've got your needle that's hanging there. Set those all aside. Well, first, we will mess with this guy. You know what, I'm gonna take this apart because this is where, this is the solenoid where my wire came out. So, I need to figure out what went on in there. So once again, it's a three quarter. So between them, you got one washer. I just can't see far enough in there. I don't, I have a feeling someone cut it out already or something. When I put that back on, we'll see, but I don't see anything in there that's long enough to jump up into here to shut that off. So anyway, that, is a nice big opening and take my trusty bread bag uh, twisty tie go down in there scrape both of those out there's nothing in there I'll use compressed air as well there's a little jet right here so we will make sure Put the twisty tie in there. I think there's one in the very bottom of here. So the little gunk that's in here, I'm just gonna scrape it out. It's a little tiny screwdriver. Okay, all freshly blown out. I took compressed air, all the jets, all the little holes, even if I'm not sure where it goes, spray some air through the hole, clear it out. So now, you take your Float, make sure there's no gunk on it. This one looks pretty clean. And get the needle. Tiny little needle guy. And it just slides right in here underneath. There's a spot that it can slide and just just sit there and then it goes right where this hole is and then just lay it there grab your pin kind of wipe it off make sure there's no junk on it slide it in nice and gentle There we go. And now you can see how clean that is now. It's looking good. And it doesn't matter which side this is on because this doesn't do anything. So I blew these out real good too. The holes in that jet down there in that bolt. Now we're just gonna thread it back together. 
with this guy. And I think I'll leave it disconnected the first time I try to start it because that way I'll know if it starts just fine, then that means that someone has already gone in here and cut out the piece of the solenoid that is designed to act like a plunger and block off the fuel when it's not running. And I felt my washer just fall off there, so let me grab that again. Don't lose these little washers. This goes right here. Just get that on there and thread it in. Give it a little snuggy snug, not too crazy. And now we can put it back on. First things first, we need to put this piece back on. So right in this hole, twist it around, that easy. Now, we're going to attach this part back down to here. I'm going to put it right in there. That whole piece just goes up and down. So once you get it in there, you can push it back down so that you can get it back on. Like that. Now, I'll put this one back in so that I don't forget. I need to reconnect this stuff down here. So what I'm going to do first, well, let's see. Yeah, first I'm going to do the spring. There we go. All right, got that on there now. Push it down a little bit to make sure it lines up. So you can see I got the spring in that second hole, and then I pushed the plastic clip back in from behind, and then pushed the little rod in there. All right, put this gasket back on. We will hook up the gas first. And pull that clip up again. Remember, I'm not going to bother with this guy right now because it broke off from underneath there. And I don't think that that plunger piece is still in there, so I think it'll still fire without it. But if it doesn't fire up, I will remember. Then I need to mess with that solenoid and get a new one or something. All right, so we're gonna hook this hose back up behind there. This gasket here. And I am going to pop that into there. I can't imagine any other use for that thing. That's got to be it. 
get these little guys back on. Here's your three eighths again. Don't want that too tight. So I'm gonna to try to start it up like this. See how it runs. All right, I'm on this thing. Let's see, let's go. Oh, choke's already out. Let's start it. So we cleaned up the carburetor, put it on. At first, as it started, it took a little bit, but I think, you know, there was no fuel in there. And, uh, oh, once again, that starter solenoid had been disconnected. That plunger was out. And another cool thing I did remember was on this mower, someone had added a fuel shutoff, which is always a very important thing to do if you take the plunger out, because otherwise gas can fill up your cylinder fills up your oil, it's, it gets hydro-locked, vapor-locked, you can't start it, and then you have to pull out your spark plug, drain gasoline out of there, you have to change all your oil. So if you do pull your plunger, if you cut it off, if you break it off, if it's not working, add a fuel shutoff valve. So there you have it. Thank you. Please subscribe. Bye-bye now.